Hello everyone, I am Building Pro, and welcome to episode 2 of our Minecraft 1.14 Let's Play series. In this episode, what we are going to do is we're going to defend this village. Uh, not, we're not going to defend it from pillagers just yet, since we just got here, but what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that no monsters can spawn in it or walk into the village, because in the past episode, and uh, some time playing in the background, I've noticed monsters coming and going, making themselves at home, which is... Just not acceptable. Even now I can hear some skeletons somewhere. Must be hiding from me. But what we're going to do is we're just going to knock down some of these trees. Build a big fence that goes all the way around. Just so nobody come, can walk in. Uh, clean this up a little bit. Make it look a little bit better. Nothing too crazy. And then we're going to light the area up so nothing can spawn here. So I'm going to do pretty much all of the cutting in the background. Because nobody wants to watch me cut trees for half an hour, an hour. So we'll get that done. Oh, look at this good timing. I'm glad I was recording. We got our first wandering trader. What do you got? Sea pickle, pumpkin seeds, sand, red sand, oak sapling, and a bucket of pucker, puffer fish. The only thing I'm even remotely interested in is a puffer fish. That's it. You useless. Get here. I am interested in your llamas, though. Oops. My bad. Press the wrong button. But anyway, we're going to go start cutting down some trees, and then we'll get this fence going. Alright, so we're currently in the process of placing the fence. I got rid of a bunch of trees so I could get all the wood for this fence and actually clear it up a little bit. Try and get rid of the grass a little bit too, just to make things look a little bit cleaner inside the village, and at least a little bit around it. So I'm, uh, our goal for this is just to fence in the village so that they don't die from zombies or potentially even pillagers in the future before we actually deal with pillagers i would like to have like an actual wall up here not just this little shitty little uh fence here we can do better than that so what we're going to do is keep building this to make sure nobody can just walk over it like that on these sides here edges like this are going to be a little bit more difficult but i'm sure we can make it work now if we just go down here, this is there. And I want to make sure I block in all the village, but I don't want to touch my house up there. Because I do not want to block in our house, and that would restrict us from any future builds. Or it would either restrict us or we'd have to adjust the wall every single time we wanted to build something else. I don't want to deal with that. I don't need a wall. I say that now, I'm probably going to get blown up by a creeper later. But we don't need a wall to get things started off. We're, uh, we'll be alright. As long as we can get these villagers protected, that is our main goal with this wall. So we're going to make sure we can get that done. And then we'll be all set. I'm going to try and finish up this wall. Bring you all back in to check out our finished project. Alright, so as I was working on our fence overnight, I was able to kill a couple of spiders and get some string. So you know what that means. Grab our bamboo. We're going to make some scaffolding. Look at that. We got our 12 scaffolding. So let's see if we can get up to the roof with this stuff. So how does this work? Place it. Oh, that's, that's the fence. What was I thinking? Yeah, here. Make sure that creeper doesn't sneak up on me. Place it down. And then we can... Climb up it and down it like this. That's pretty cool. Okay. Then. Can't go in there, sir. Private property. Anyway. Oh, you just click on it and it keeps building. Click on the. Woo! Kind of cool. Whoops. Hmm. How, how do you get it onto the side? Because when I click here, it goes on the side. I have to be in it? If I click here. Can go outside. If I click on, oh, so you have to click on the bottom if you want to go up. But if you want to go out to the side, you have to be in that one. Like, if I want to be on the side. I can be click on this side. How does it know which way to go? What if I want to go out this way? How does it? it just seems to go in a random direction. I don't know how that works. But we will have to figure that out. Because we got plenty of time now that this is in the game. So there's no rush. 
But it will be super handy when I'm chopping down these really tall trees that I can't reach. So I've already found uses for it. I'm going to put it to work as I go and try to finish up this fence. Now we're getting there. Try and knock out some of these plants. Good in there. It's pretty ugly. There's some random holes here. It looks like a giant creeper blew up, but this was naturally spawned like this. There's another one over here. Not the prettiest things in the world, but we can fill those in later. Just want to focus on getting this fence up. And believe it or not, we've been doing this all with pretty much just stone tools. We got one iron pickaxe. That pickaxe is not doing any good up here. Uh, we're pretty much just sticking to our axe and our shovel. Yes, they have random things just all over the place. Eventually down the line, I would like to find another village with some librarians because we... A real big goal is to find something with mending. Oh, I'm going to break this. It doesn't stay there forever. It should be good now. It's a tree like this. I stopped right here for doing all this. This will be a perfect place to use our scaffolding. We'll go ahead and knock this down and see how our scaffolding works in real life. All right. Here's your time to shine. Let's go. All the way up. Look at that. That is so cool. Yep. At the top. Bam. Woo! Kind of cool. Kind of hard to get used to, but it's fun. I like it. <laughs> I don't love how it breaks all like that. Pretty cool. And slap a gate down. Bam. Now we're going to have to go through sometime at night after this fence is done and light it up. So we're going to need to make some more torches. But once we finish this gate, I'm going to have to go mining. So we seriously need some resources. We don't have any armor yet. Nothing. We don't have enough iron tools. We don't have much. Low. So once we finish up this gate, we're going to go mining, get some resources. We're going to really get settled into our new home. So as I was over here building the fence, I noticed that we have some sweet berry bushes just around the corner here. So if I memory serves me correctly, these are things that will hurt you if you walk into them. Let me, this might be a little bit of a dumb experiment. I'm going to be my own dummy, but we're going to try it out, see if we get hurt. That's a hard yes. Yes, you do get hurt. So can we just pick these up like this? Sweet berries, okay. So can we replant them? Okay, well that's pretty convenient. Pretty much can grow very easily. Self-sustaining, don't need to worry about too much. So we'll grab these. Maybe we'll make a monster trap with them later, since it just hurts people by standing in them. Could be very convenient. Like, if we get some sort of mob trap to where they fall onto, like, a little trap of these. And if we're just trying to go and collect stuff rather than uh, actual XP, be very convenient to collect all the loot. Just put these, maybe get a minecart or a minecart hopper underneath that. They'll die pretty quickly with these, apparently. And we'll be able to gather their stuff, which is great because we're gonna need string, we're gonna need flesh if or zombie flesh if we want to trade with the villagers, just to get some extra emeralds and some happiness. Stir farm with these could be pretty easy to make. Don't see too many problems with that at all. Not yet. Not yet. Once we actually try, we might find some problems, but we'll worry about that later. Okay. Boom. It's not finished yet, but we are getting close. So it ends here. And where's the other side? Now it goes up toward the bell. Over there. We gotta go from there to there. And we're probably just gonna go along this wall here down like that so let's get that finished and keep on chugging along all right everyone as you can see we have finished our fence all the way around the village that took a lot of wood and we had to cut down a lot of trees but we got it so they should be safe now and we lit up everything on the inside i went around with f3 on and checked the uh, light of the block uh, pretty much everywhere, as far as I could tell. We might have missed a couple spots here and there. But we'll take it as we can. I think we did pretty good. Unfortunately, we weren't able to save every single 
It's just floating here. Unfortunately, we weren't able to save every single villager. We have one that was infected, so we might have to deal with that later. Uh, I got him blocked in over there. Unfortunately, he's right in front of our gate. Let me go check it out. He, he was uh, infected and outside of the fence. I don't know how we got outside of the fence. He might have been out there and I uh, blocked him in without even realizing it. But he was outside of the fence, and then he fell in here. And apparently, he uh, either despawned or died somehow, so he's gone now. But that was short-lived. Well, not our problem anymore, right? So, now that that uh, kind of dealt with itself, what I want to do is go mining. As you can tell, we've been doing all this with pretty much stone weapons. And, uh, some tools, but we need to get some upgrades and we need to get some armor because we do not have a whole lot. We have 10 iron ingots total. We're probably going to use that to make some tools for when we actually go mining. Let's make some more torches, make some more food. Actually, we got food. Now we're going to take our wood and our water and then we're going to head into the mine. So let's get prepared. All right, now to start mining, I think we got all the tools that we're going to need. A couple of pickaxes. I want to get rid of the stone pickaxe first, so I'll go ahead and use that up. Got an extra sword and shovel. Got some water, food, wood. Never know what you're going to need that for. Got some torches. Might not be enough, but we'll see. Now, this is just the uh, little cave entrance that I found. As you can see, we're still inside of the village area. It's just kind of like a little hole. Uh, I don't think it goes too far, but I actually have not been in. Very deep. Uh, this is the little, the little shack that we were hiding in the first couple of nights. So that's good memories. Let me check out up here to see if anything has changed. I don't want anything spawning up here because that would be annoying. So I'm gonna pop down a torch. Okay, let's head down. Oh, well, this should be an interesting experience. Got creepers everywhere already. Oof, that is loud. I like how these guys have like precision aim. I say that right before it shoots a wall. Give me a string. Hopefully it's not too dark for you. I turn the brightness all the way up specifically so you can see when I'm in the caves. Uh, I hope it's pretty bright. I'll try to keep it lit as I go along. Pick up pretty much everything I see. I'm not going to show every little bit of mining because that would just be way too tedious. But I'll show you a little bit. Kind of talk about what we're doing. So now that we have the, vi the village pretty decently defended from monsters, I'm going to go ahead and get us some gear. And I would like to find diamonds, of course. Everybody always wants to find diamonds. Get some diamond gear, get some uh, diamond tools. And eventually get to the nether and start enchanting and get some brewing going and all that good stuff but probably not gonna probably not gonna do all that in one episode though this one will probably be the fence and mining not the most interesting video but a very productive one because doing all this is going to set the framework for what we're doing in the future Always use more coal. Huh, this cave might go on a little bit further than I expected. So we're going to gather up these resources and we're going to keep digging into the cave and find out what we can see. Hey everyone, so I checked out the cave that we initially saw. It's right at the top of the stairs there. There's nothing too exciting. Got a little bit of coal, a little bit of iron. Not too much. And I started staring our way down so we can get to level 12. We're not we're not there yet. We're getting closer. I think we're at 34 right now. Then I stumbled upon another cave and I can hear all sorts of moaning and groaning coming out of there. So I can only imagine what kind of creepy crawlies we're going to have to fight. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Let's check this out real quick. Does this work if I place this here? Huh. Well, isn't that just convenient? And I love scaffolding. <laughs> I will definitely, definitely get used to that really quickly. What do we got here? This looks like a big cave. 
Got some lava down there. I don't know what you can see, but I'm going to start picking up whatever I find. Pretty much out of torches already, but this is why we bring wood with us. Make some more. We're set. Okay. Wow. This one, look, this one looks like it goes pretty deep. We're lucky it'll go all the way down to that layer 10 ish. We can start looking for some diamonds. I don't think we're going to use every little piece of coal that we find. At least not immediately. Oh, look, there's our first gold. We'll pick that up here soon. But, like I was saying, I don't think we're going to use every piece of coal that we find. But for the most part, it's going to be super useful. If we do somehow have a plethora of it in the future, and it's just too much that we'll never use at all, which I seriously doubt, then we can start selling it to a villager. But I'd much rather start selling stuff to the farmer villagers. That stuff is just so easy to get. It doesn't really require any work, for the most part. All you have to do is throw some seeds in the ground and come back later. For coal, you actually have to go out, find it, and mine it. Oh, I think I just heard a witch or something. I gotta remember to put torches down so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Otherwise, you're just looking at a dark screen listening to me talk. And this mining can be real tedious, but wouldn't be Minecraft without it. Let's get out of here. Or which way we're we going? I think we're going down. Light up as we go. I'll come back and get that coal, don't worry. Ah, look at that. We have a witch or potion thrower person. Whoa! Right next to diamonds down there. So we're going to have to deal with them. As long as this poison lasts, eh, it's gone already. I hate those things. Did they just die? Pretty sure they just died. Oh, no, oh, there they are. It did fall, though. Ah, got him. Get out of here. Go burn. I want to make sure the area is clear before I start picking up these diamonds here. Don't worry, I'll get that redstone down there as long as I don't forget. And you guys just keep coming, huh? Come on, jump down. Into the lava. Oh, it must be pretty deep. I don't want to mine it while I'm standing next to the... Uh, this is only one diamond. This is really only one. Alright, we got our first diamond. But seriously, is it just one? Oh. That's disappointing. That's okay. There's plenty more out there for us to find. Let's grab this lapis. Need it for enchanting and whatnot. There's redstone down here. I said I was gonna grab. Man of my word. Here a skeleton. I see a skeleton. Ow. Come a little bit closer, buddy. We don't have a bow with infinity yet, so I'm gonna wait till they get close and start smacking them. In the last series, I had my first ever bow with the Infinity Enchantment on it, and I fell in love with that thing. Being without it right now, it's kind of hard. I'm going to lie. I think it had Power 3 or something on it like that. Infinity. And I'm breaking. It was great. It was really nice. But that's okay. We got room to improve. Have to get us another one. There's the lava. I was waiting for it to come out. I figured it'd be in there somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to keep exploring this cave. 
if we find any more diamonds, let you guys see where they are. Whoa, look at this big ravine. I'm always scared about getting shot into the lava, so we to be careful around here, but let's continue our hunt for at least a few diamonds. So we are still in the process of exploring that big ravine that we found earlier. It's got so many caves connected to it. It really is a maze. But we just came around the corner here and we found some more diamonds. I didn't want to mine them up before I started recording again because it's always fun finding diamonds. At least I always think it's fun finding diamonds. The pickaxe is about to break. We've been out of food for a while. Uh, we've had to resort to eating rotten flesh a little bit. I don't want to eat too much. It's kind of gross. But we'll do what we have to to get by. I'm just glad we found it more than that single diamond earlier. That was kind of depressing. But this is a real spirit lifter. Let's see if there's any nearby that may have missed. Well, I guess that's that. At least we were able to get those diamonds. So now that we have plenty of iron to make us some more tools and even some armor, we got enough to make maybe a pickaxe of worth of diamonds, because I would like to get an enchanted table going as soon as possible. But now that we know this ravine is here, we can come back whenever we need to. And we got plenty of all sorts of stuff. Once we get our enchanting table going, hopefully we can get a looting pickaxe up pretty soon. So that we can, uh, or not looting, looting would be nice, but a fortune pickaxe is what I meant to say. You know, a fortune pickaxe will pretty much be set the next time we find diamonds. At least it'll make it a lot easier. Now, the only problem is I'm going to have to figure out how to get out of here. I remember knocking down this gravel from up there. Not sure what direction I was coming from. This is the worst part about ravines. You get lost so easily. I haven't been up here. There are no torches, but if you take a peek, maybe it'll turn back into something useful. Get out of here. <laughs> This is just chocked full of zombies and other mobs. I'm going to have to light this place up, especially if we want to make a mob, a mob farm later in the game. Because the mob farm will be more effective if all these caves are lit up. Everybody probably knows this, but just in case somebody doesn't, the mob farm that's above ground is more effective if all the caves underground are lit up because it's a smaller area for the same amount of mobs to spawn in, basically. So as we're going through, mining out all this stuff, we'll leave everything lit up, just in case we want to make a mob farm later. Leaving it lit up makes it a lot easier for all you, all you viewers to see, because I understand that watching on a computer or on your phone or tablet or laptop or whatever you're watching on, be kind of hard if the brightness is really low. You can hear me talking, but you don't see me talking. You don't see what I'm talking about. I have no idea if this is the right way. And it's not. Not even close. Okay. Really. So I'm going to figure my way out of here. And then we'll go over all of our treasures once we get back to the base. Well, everyone, we are currently hiding in a very small hole. Uh, you probably can't see much, but I'm sure you can hear a lot on the outside of these little cobblestone walls that I put up. There's a zombie, a creeper, a skeleton, and who knows what else. We can even see him peeking in here. We have no food to eat, except for this little rotten flesh here. Uh, we have no wood, so we can't make anything. We have our crafting table, but no sticks or anything. I guess we can use our one shot out of our bow. We can't make a chest to put our items in, so we're pretty much just gonna have to die and hopefully find our way back. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's kind of disappointing, but that's just what happens sometimes. I didn't bring enough supplies, even though I thought I had plenty, but it is what it is. Unless we can get this to fill us up some hearts here, which I seriously doubt. Hmm. If this doesn't work, we're going to have to commit suicide. That non-stop hunger coming, but we have no choice. Well, I 
give me a few hearts. And even to get out of here, I'm going to have to hit it with my hand. So it might take quite a while because I don't have any pickaxe, not even a wood pickaxe. So, you know, slowly this is coming. If you can even see this, because I ran out of torches a long time ago, too. So that's fun. See anything right out here? I'm sure, they're there. Maybe I have to put that there. It'll push them away. Get back. Okay. So here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna moment of truth. I'm gonna break this. Grab my water and run for it. Go go go. Ooh, I can't believe we made it out of that. We are nowhere near safe yet. We still got to... There you are. Punk. Alright, so we still got to get out of here. Um, I might... I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. Um, hmm. We're lucky we might be able to see a spot that we were at earlier. Creepers are everywhere. Find a spot that we were at earlier at some point. Just go through that. No, I don't think we were up here, but gets us away from those mobs for a second at least. Well, everyone, it happened. I was still looking for the way out and I just got shot. Hopefully we can get back in time. I'm not going to take anything. Actually, I might take a single sword, just in case. Do I have any cobblestone in here? Do I really not have any cobblestone? Oh, that's ridiculous. Well, I'm not going to take anything with us. We're going to rush back to that little mine that we had. As soon as it starts lagging for some reason. But we're going to rush back to our mine. Hopefully. Our stuff is still there. It should be. I was not near any uh, lava when I died. So all the stuff should be safe. Just just a matter of finding our little poor corpse. Because that was the longest I think I've ever been lost in a single mine. And this is probably why. Probably got lost. Seriously. Are you kidding me? I got lost this close. I must have walked past this about 20 times, not even exaggerating. I must have walked past it 20 times. No wonder I didn't see this. How could I? Oh, goodness. Get out of here. Get out of here. This might take a while. At least all of our stuff's right there. I will punch you to death. As long as I can get all my stuff back. Yeah. Of course, there's a creeper right here. Get out of here. There's that. Hopefully there's nothing he blew up. But I am done with mining for right now. I need to break. Yeah, I definitely remember walking past this little section right here several times. But let's get out of here. See? It's so hard to find. I almost lost it again. This place is ridiculous. That was my fault, of course. But at least we saved all of our stuff. I'll go ahead and rearrange it here. Then we will be all set again. And back to normal so no big deal the only thing that we lost is a bunch of levels but we don't even have an enchanting table up yet so that's not a big deal once we do get an enchanting table we're gonna have to find uh, a whole bunch of books or kill some cows and get some sugar cane I prefer to raid a village so that we can hopefully find one with a library and then just basically take everything in their library so <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do to get by 
finally home. That was the longest, most painful mining trip I've been on in a long, long time. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff all sorted out. And we're going to gear ourselves up. That well, worked out. 32 exactly. Now, like I said, this starter house is just that. It's a starter house. So we're going to make it bigger and better in the future. But for now, it gets the job done. Okay. Well, after that very painful mining trip and this very lengthy uh, wall that we have built here now, I think that's unfortunately all we have time for today. So thank you everyone for watching. I am Building Pro. This was episode two of our Minecraft 1.14 Java Let's Play. If you liked it, leave a comment down below, give me a thumbs up, and if you really enjoyed it, then consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of any future videos because this is just episode two. We got big plans. That's exactly why I built this on the side of a plane, on a plane to biome, because we're gonna fill this up. We're gonna build all sorts of stuff here. But after today's struggle, just getting some basic diamonds, just a few, uh, it's going to take some time. So, thank you everyone, and I will see you in the next episode.